Africa's longest serving leader Teodoro Biangema of Equatorial Guinea paid a two day state visit to Uganda on Wednesday and Thursday. Gema met his counterpart in Ozio Eri Museveni, where the two leaders held talks on oil, economic, scientific research, and military cooperation. The 75 year old leader of the oil rich Central African nation said this unity among Africa's 55 states was key to the continent's slack progress in economic development, while at the same time hailing fallen Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi on his efforts to unite the continent. The issue here is that the African Union only meets twice to address its own issues. And for that reason, Africa is still weak and far behind. Not because we don't have the potential, but we don't exploit our uniqueness. President Obiang arrives in Uganda after the first batch of Uganda People's Defense Forces, UPDF troops, led for Equatorial Guinea late last year for a covert mission to reinforce its security and officially to strengthen the capacity of the Guinean Armed Forces, a move that political analysts in Uganda question since the deployment had not been approved by the Ugandan parliament. According to the U.S. intelligence agency CIA, Equatorial Guinea has a small army of about 1,500 troops. It has 400 policemen, 200 Navy service members and about 120 in the Air Force.